My name is Martin Fido. I teach writing and research at Boston University and have done so for the last 10 years. Prior to that, for 20 years, I had been a freelance writer and broadcaster with a radio series in England called Murders After Midnight. I did my work on Jack the Ripper in 1986 and 87, ready for the centenary, which occurred, of course, in 1988. Now, I found that the man in charge of the inquiry, the head of the CID, had said that the Ripper was a poor Polish Jew from Whitechapel who went into an asylum and that he had been positively identified. He is the most certain person we have, saying he knew who the Ripper was, who could have been in a position to say so. None of the other police officers who knew what he was talking about, were quite so sure as he. Two others left notes saying that this was a man called Kosminski. There is a big problem. Kosminski didn't go into the asylum until 1891, and over those three years, and according to all his records, he was a quite harmless fellow who thought he knew what everyone was thinking and thought he should never take a bath. He did, in a quarrel, once pick up a knife and threaten his uh, sister with it, and he once threatened attendants in the asylum with a chair when they tried to bath him. That's the only violence we have about him. I had already found and decided that Anderson, the head of the CID, must have been talking about a man called David Cohen, who went in just after the murders stopped. His incarceration would explain why they stopped. He was extremely violent. He had to be kept under restraint, and he died of exhaustion of mania in a little over a year after his incarceration. Now, one of the two senior police officers who said Anderson's man was Kosminski also said Kosminski died shortly after going into the asylum. Well, Kosminski didn't. He was still alive in 1910 when Anderson wrote his memoirs and his under-officer wrote his notes on them. He didn't die till 1917. When those notes were discovered, I had already said for reasons I can't quite fathom, Kosminski and Cohen got confused with each other. Cohen was probably the Ripper, and they thought his name was Kosminski. When the notes emerged, it seemed likely that the confusion occurred because two separate police forces, the city police and the metropolitan police, had separately followed these two men without telling each other, because they were treading on each other's territory to do so. Later, somebody heard, ah, we followed the poor Polish Jew from who went into Coney Hatch Asylum as well. And they thought it was the same man. The Met had never been sure about their man's name, and they accepted the name Kosminski. That's what I think happened. So I think David Cohen is the most plausible name that we have among the named suspects for a probable Jack the Ripper.